All right, so let's move on to the family of D. So I am gonna start with your traditional D chord, and you'll often see me using my thumb. Right now, I'm using my thumb to just dead out the top two strings so that I can be a lazy worship leader and sweep across the whole thing and just get that D in there. So that's my one chord. So now let's keep moving up the line. Let's go to the two chord. So the open chord is just an E minor. If you've you know watched the G family already, it's the same as your E minor there. So these two are anchored together on the last two. These two are on strings two and three, fret two, and you get this really pretty sound. You can also take your middle finger, put it down here on the last string behind your pinky so you can Take the pinky off, just a different flavor is all it is, but you can just play the E minor. So that's the two. Let's move up to the three chord. I'm gonna make a D and put my thumb on the bass note here so you get this F sharp over D sound. So that's our three chord. And now I'm gonna fold up to the four chord, which I'm just gonna use the flat line G from the G family. And uh, you can also soften that by putting the D bass and using your thumb over that uh, G note if you want a different flavor. Now let's go up to the five chord, which is an A with the suspend on it, which is really, again, part of the framework of your D chord. So again, it's an A chord with a suspend. Now from here up to the six chord, what I'm gonna do is put my middle finger on that fourth string second fret and I'm gonna make with my ring finger. So now I've got a D2 and I'm gonna take my pointer finger and I'm gonna put it on the second string, second fret, so I get that root note of the B. So this is gonna help it turn into a nice, soft B minor. So that's a really pretty one, and I'm kinda of budged up against the top string so that this string doesn't ring out like this, because that wrecks the sound of the B minor. So you wanna budge up against that or not hit it so that you get a nice, pure, so that's your six chord. Now your seven chord in here is one that I try to stay away from just because it's a little bit awkward. But should you need it, what you're gonna do is make an A and then your pinky finger, because that's the easiest one for me to reach, is on the D flat note. So you just hit it like that. So that's your seven and back up to your one. So if we travel all the way through that, here is your D, your one, and then here is your E minor, which is your two. Here's your three, which is an F sharp over D. Here's your four, which is a G. Here's your five, which is an A suspended. Here's your six, which would be your B minor. Here's your seven fragment. And then you're back to your one. So again, if you play through that, there you can see why I try to avoid this chord. It's just not a comfortable chord and sometimes it doesn't ring true. So I will often just substitute that for the straight five chord instead of doing that one. But that is the family of D.